Hi there, welcome to a new episode of my Hacker Rank series of solutions. Today, we're going to be looking at Iter Tools permutations. So, I've got a Jupyter notebook on the right, I've got my Hacker Rank dashboard on the left, and let's go ahead and solve this easy challenge. If you don't know what Iter Tools permutation is, it is one of the methods in the library of Iter Tools that if you want to use it, you need to import it like every other method in libraries in Python. What is the task? You are given a string of S, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Your task is to print all possible permutations. Before I go ahead with looking at what we need to do for this task, let me run you through what a permutation is. So if you have a very easy string like this, which is A, B, C, if you want to look at permutations of this ABC and you want to do permutations by two, I haven't run the code yet. I haven't imported permutations. In order for me to be able to use permutations, I have to say from iter tools, import permutations. Okay, now that I have imported it, I will call this my string. And here, instead of ABC, I will just copy my string. So if you want to understand what the permutation does, you need to look at the list. Otherwise, it's not going to show you what it looks like first. And now you can see that the permutations of ABC of length two means that you will take A and then B, which is this one. Then you will take A and C then you're done with A being at the front, you move to B being at the front, so you go B, A, B, C, so you're done with B at the front, you move to C, A, and C, B. So there are six different permutations of A, B, C. So if you go more like D, E, F, definitely you will have more permutations. You're trying to mix and match every letter with every other letter in various different possible permutations. So now that you know what permutations does, let's read the task more carefully. So we will be given a string s. Your task is to print all possible permutations of size k. So we will receive a string and also we will receive the size. String is lexicographic sorted order. So it will be sorted. So what is the input format? A single line containing the space separated string s and the integer value k. So if you haven't seen my input video, pause this one here, go check that one out. The link is up the top right and come back because that's going to make your life much easier. So we will receive one line like this, hack two, hack is the string and two is the size. So that's going to be the input format. And what is the output format? Print the permutations of the string S on separate lines. So if you recall, what I had here was this one, and they were in separate lines, but I, they don't really look like this output. My job is to make them look that output. Okay, let's jump in. Let me just clean up after myself. I will still need this one, otherwise it's not going to work. I know that I will receive a string and a K from the user. That will be through the input function. I already told you where you can find my input video. And because it is separated by space, I need to use split because what a split does, it separates it by the space. So this is something that I will be getting from the user. But there is one thing for you to remember. After you get anything from input function, it will be in string format. And whether you split it or not, they will be in string format. So your string will be in string format. And then your K also will be in string format. This will become very important later down when we are coding. Now that I have this, all I need to do is to run a loop to go through every item in list of permutations of what? Of the string and K. So let's put the word pass here. Word pass means that do not do anything and wait for me to tell you what I want you to do. So what I did, I made the permutations of string over K. 
I told you k will be important later. If I run this, there will be issues because k is a string here. Whereas it is a number, I need to convert it to an integer. So I have to do this. Also, I am missing one last thing. If you remember, the task told me that it has to be in sorted order. So I need to sort my list so that I will receive them in sorted order. Brilliant. Now that I have them, I can print items. So once I run this, the program will say, okay, what is your input? It is hack and it is two. I am putting in exactly like this. I want to see if I can get this out. Enter and look at this. I got AC, which is correct, but this is not the format I wanted. I want them together, printed together. So that should be pretty easy. All I need to do is to say, use the join function onto this. So what it does, after I put hack and two, it joins A and C together, A and H together, A and K together, and C and A together, so forth. So this is all I need plus this one. So let's copy this here and put it here, now line one, and then copy this, put it here, and let's run and see if it is successful. Okay, it is successful with test case zero, Let's submit the code because it will go through more test cases and understand if it is correct. Great, this was correct. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'm really happy that I'm able to help a lot of people out there. And I got my gold badge. So if you've been following my videos, you should also receive your gold badge in HackerRank. See you later.